dear students today we will discuss on virtualizations what exactly the virtualizations means virtualizations in another word we termed it as virtual computing now in the case of a virtualizations the computing uh, we carry out by making one physical computings and thereby a multiple other computings can able to carry out or that means let us take that just like in a virtual machines we do a virtual computing we are having a computer base computer base then again we are doing a virtual computing we are having a computer base we are doing another virtual computing like that the things process here we come we put it as a computer base and this particular type of uh, interface technique is a virtualizations that means uh, uh, whenever uh, any computer irrespective of its uh, power and size try to carry out various activities then this particular uh, computing process we call it as a virtualized machines that means we have seen that whenever the resource management what are the different resource managements we knows the resource management is one is cpu man uh, using the cpu for a multiple task another is the memory the utilization of the memory for the various tasks storage the uh, the methods by means of with the cpu can able to store is in various locations and also the networking how the various uh, packets coming from a various network can able to connect so this entire thing is connected put under one area that is a core computing device the core computing device so this is a core computing device on the top of which this particular virtual machine is being put across so this is known as a virtualizations machine i can put it in a in a in a very simple uh, structure is that that we all know that a cpu this is a cpu memory storage network that is cpu memory Uh, storage and a network what we have seen over here on the top of it we create a virtual machines or we we termed it as a hypervisor we have discussed in the previous uh, discussions about the hypervisor i have uh, uh, shown in my previous uh, video slides about what exactly mean by virtual machine or a hypervisor so this is what a hypervisor this is a virtual machines we put it so this is is the the main sections or we we termed it as a, it is a host on the top of the host we are uh, creating what a another uh, network we uh, i can put it like this one we are creating a another cpu memory storage network the same thing just like like this one it is also same thing and on the top of it we create a let us take a vm1 or we call it as a, this is a guest like that we we create a another same block we create a cpu memory storage and network and on the top of it we try to create a vm2 which is a guest same way we we can create another uh, virtual machines like cpu memory storage and network and vm2 for the guest so here what we have seen that the main host which is uh, running a let us take a window operating system on the top of the window operating system we created a, 
different virtual machines. One is running a Ubuntu, another is running a Fedora, another is running a Linux. So these three things which uh, we are been running on the top of the main host, this particular technique is called as a, this particular method we call it as a virtualizations. Virtualizations. So in the case of a virtualizations, what what are the uh, different uh, uh, parameters that we or different uh, other characteristics that we understand is that guest computer or we can we do a guest login. So the guest computer runs on the top of host. Or a host hardware. That is one is that, and that is one. And many many guest virtual system you can can be created. Can be created. What is the advantage? It saves memory, hardware, all this. And uh, guest to guest, guest to guest can balance load distribution, load of work distribution. So because you can able to, uh, if, uh, if it is connected to the, let us take that this is a cloud, this is a cloud. So your uh, systems, uh, virtual machine can connect to the cloud, cloud. But that means the same systems, guest to guest, can uh, can balance loader. The this has been loaded. This can call and this can take that particular uh, certain task. Maybe this is having one application. This is running another application. This is running another application for one main, one big project. There are three different application is running. So this can be able to share the files and, uh, and the memories, uh, files and the data, thereby the common memory can able to compute the work. So this is one of the important things and uh, uh, in the process of virtualizations, the various, we can put it as a data, can able to process. Thank you.